This pivot table was created completely by VBA after asking the user what inputs do you want, what should be in the rows, what should be in the columns, etc. So it is based on the following database. It's a very simple database, but it doesn't matter how complex it is. So I created a subroutine that I gave a shortcut control shift P. So if I do control shift P, it says click on the label for the rows. So we want, let's say I click on DEPT, we want that that's name of that column to be used. So when I click on it, it automatically puts the address in there. And then it will find whatever is in the address. Okay. Then it says, do you want a second row? I'm, I'm skipping that one. Cancel. Do you also want labels for the columns? Yes, let's see. Location. A label for the totals? Yes, salary. And click on the label for a filter, if you want a filter. I'm, I'm going to do it this time. And we get automatically the correct pivot table. How can that be done? VBA is your answer. I'm going to Alt F11, that opens the VBA editor. We insert a module if you don't have one. I did that already. And I created a sub that I gave the name Pivot Builder. I used the following variables. These are the first row is all of the string type. The second one has object type variables of the pivot table type, the pivot field type, and the worksheet type. Then we set OWS, which is of the worksheet type, to the active sheet. If D1 happens to be empty on that sheet, then we know we don't have the correct sheet. You may do more checking, that's up to you. But if that's the case, then say with a message box you are on the wrong sheet, call on exit the sub. Don't do anything further. Then we are going to store in S row 1, which is of the string type, the label that the user wants to use. We ask that with an application input box. Why not a regular input box? Because the application one allows you to click on a cell and use that address. But the last argument, which is of the type argument, we set to 2. That means it takes the text out of that cell, the content of that cell. So make sure that you have enough commas until you get into the type argument. Then we do that for the second one, S row 2. But people can cancel it, and there is nothing in S row 2. Then we check in which column do you want to be? Which column label should you use for the salaries in this case, for the totals? I'm assuming you want totals and not averages, but that's up to you. You can change that later. And then S filter allows you to add a filter to the whole thing. And then we are going to create a pivot table. We do that by using the variable O table and we set that to OWS, the worksheet we are on, pivot table wizard. That does all the heavy handling for you. Then we set O field to the first field, which is of the pivot fields, the S row 1. In our case, that was department. Colon, the orientation, is going to be the row field. Then we check for S row 2. If that is not false, then set O field to, from the collection of pivot fields, S row 2, and make it the row field. Then we check as column. If it's not false, then use it and make it a pivot field, a column field. And then the data, set O field to field S data. The orientation is Excel data field. You probably want to set the number format for that, otherwise you get not nice looking numbers. And we use from OWS cells in row 2, so not the labeled row, the worksheet function match, 
find S data okay. in OWS rows 1 the third argument I set to zero and take that number format so you get a consistent nice looking number format whatever the user had used in that column then if the filter has been used then we set that to the page field and then we say to range A1 of the current region that means everything included up to the next empty row and next empty column make the entire column auto fit and end sub and that should do the work so all we have to do now is make sure that you have a shortcut if you want that otherwise you have to run it from VBA so you go to developer if there is no developer tab you have to go to files options, customize a ribbon, that the developer is checked on. Otherwise you don't have a developer tab by default. So once you have the developer tab, you just go to macros and you say to pivot builder, options, control shift P. Control, don't type that here, that is required, but shift P you type. You can even put a description in there if you want to and then in my case I'm going to cancel and cancel and now it, it should run fine I wish you good luck with this very simple VBA code that does very nice automatic work for you